don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. Hey, what is going on, YouTube? It is the BK Cops 360 here, and of course, this is another video about my lead up to AMD's release of the R9. And our 7300 series of GPUs. Now, of course, today we're talking about the fact about whether, look, was Hawaii fully unlocked? Okay, was the 290X a fully unlocked, fully fledged Hawaii GPU? Was it the full thing? Was it the big daddy? Now, look, going back to last year, there were articles floating around uh, saying, look, is the 290X fully unlocked? Because I believe that it had quite an odd amount of, I think it was TMUs, texture mapping units. Look, let me look it up for you guys one second. Now, while I'm doing that, you guys can just watch me think. Now, I'm going to be typing in 290X fully unlocked. Okay, uh, I finally took your take my time and actually read this. Now, of course, what we think to be fully fledged Hawaii XT is, you know, 172 TMUs, 64 render Apple, uh, fuck, 64 OP, sorry. Uh, pretty much, which adds up to 2,816 stream processors. Now, apparently, according to the die shot of Hawaii, there should technically be 48 compute units which arrives to 192 texture mapping units and 64 raster operators. So essentially there should be 3072 SPs instead of 2816. Yes, I did read that straight off a website. But look, I'm just trying to be, you know, trying to be professional boys. But yeah, look, th this raises a new question. Is the 390X going to be fully fledged? Is it going to be the legit thing? Was the 290X even fully fledged from the start? Does that mean that 390X, you know, this enhanced 390X, which is codenamed Granada, is this going to be the full chip, the full core that we are looking for? Because if it is, then we're going to see some uh, quite a performance gain. I mean, the 290X itself is already pretty close to the 980. A lot of people seem to forget that. People seem to forget that the 290X is a very good card. And if this is true, then man, this is good. And plus the 8 gigs of VRAM, that's some great shit. And then we've got the issue of Tonga. Is AMD coming out with Tonga XT for the R9 380? Are we going to see the full version? Because as you guys know, Tonga Pro on the two R9 285 was not fully fledged. It had 1,792 SPs instead of 2,048. So hopefully we see Tonga Pro, I mean, sorry, Tonga XT, the full thing, all 2,048 SPs onto the R9 380. If they put that there and they price it at a good point, Fuck, that should be some great shit. I mean, I honestly won't have a complaint. Yeah, it's a rebrand, but this is this is actually a chip we wouldn't have seen before. We haven't seen Tonga XT yet. So if this comes out, it's got a th either 3 or 6 gigabytes of VRAM. That is some great shit, guys. Some great shit. So anyway, comment down below what you think. Is the 290X fully fledged or is it just BS? There's some, there have been some counter arguments to it. Some articles saying that, look, it's a mistake. Uh, this is legit. The 290X actually is fully fledged. But honestly, we just, we just don't know. We're just going to have to see on the 16th of June, 2015. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later.